What's going on everybody? This is Island Hopper TV and today we're coming to you from Da Nang, Vietnam. We're going to go all around this area, show you some of the ancient villages, tell you what there is to do while you're here. There's about 17 things to do on this list. I'm going to give you some bonus information at the end. So if you're excited about this video, let's go ahead and get into it. There will be timestamps below in the description. First up is the amazing Dragon Bridge. Now every weekend from Friday until Sunday at around 9 p.m. they do a fire show. For 15 minutes they shut down the bridge and you can watch this amazing show where the dragon breathes out fire. If your travel plans have it to where you're not going to be here on the weekend, you can still drive across the bridge but you're not going to be able to see the night fire show with the dragon. At the end of the fire show, the dragon breathes water out. Here we are now at the temple of the Lady Buddha. The Lady Buddha here is actually the tallest Buddhist statue in Vietnam. It's also a symbol of peace, joy, and prosperity. You can find this here at the Lin On Pagoda here on Sun Tra Peninsula, located about 9 kilometers away from Da Nang. Along with several temples, you'll also find gorgeous views from the vista overlooking into Da Nang. There's gorgeous bonsai trees and well manicured gardens up here and some monkeys. But do watch your ice cream around those monkeys because they might snatch it out of your hand. All right, guys, we are here getting a massage in Da Nang. You can see I am at this place right here called the Health Care Skin Care. We're going to go inside and they got a Japanese onsen and some other experiences. We're going to try them out. Okay. Never sat in one of these tubs before. This is interesting. Ah, the secret in Jeep. This is like an herbal bath called an onsen. It's basically a barrel. The water is like black, but it's herbs. Whoa, so I've been in there for about 20 minutes. So the way this massage works, first you do the onsen tub, then you do the sauna, and then you do the massage. Please have a seat. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Next up here we are at the Marble Mountains. This is a series of five different mountains made of limestone and marble. They actually mine here and you will see a series of caves, tunnels, and temples and pagoda up on top. So if you're looking for an activity, this is considered the top thing to do in Da Nang and the caves are impressive. Just keep in mind, these are from miners, not necessarily naturally occurring. And it is considered a religious site because it is sacred to the Cham people who've been living and inhabiting this area of central Vietnam for hundreds of years. So the first thing to do is hike up to the top and then the next thing to do is explore the mined caves. This is where it really gets interesting because you'd be surprised at how much cave infrastructure there is below these mountains. The whole place really is a wonderland. I would suggest going there later in the evening or early in the morning to avoid the crowds because it can get quite busy. But it's a big complex, you'll probably need a few hours, make sure you bring plenty of water. And now we're headed over to the ancient village known as Hoi An. It's more of a city nowadays, but it was definitely a central coastal town. Here you'll find the canals that go in and out of the former port city, which is really a melting pot for the area, which included lots of Japanese fishermen, Chinese fishermen. And nowadays you'll find the iconic Japanese covered bridge with its pagoda, and then Chinese wooden architectural structures across here, shop houses and temples, as well as some French influence. This is about 30 minutes away from Da Nang. And while in Hoi An, you can go to the night market. Now the night market's gonna have more items and goods that you can shop and buy, as well as food. They also have a culinary school nearby here. And definitely check out the night market. It's got a nostalgia and a vibe of its own right next to the actual canals. There's also a couple really nice night markets in Da Nang. 
Now let's talk about local food. So this here is a local dish to Hoyan. It's called Khao Lao. So I ended up going with stir-fried beef noodle. Thank you, sir. Here's a look at some beef pho. This is a mix combo. And here I have what is called banh mi Vietnam. This is basically a baguette and I got some fries. So it's a sandwich French style, but Vietnam actually. And here we have some crispy prawn with salted egg batter. And here we have some sugarcane pork skewers with some rice paper. And what you can do is wrap the pork in the rice paper with some of that lettuce there. And it really makes a nice treat, like a spring roll. Here is a look at some crispy pork with rice and papaya salad and a hard boiled egg. Now what we're gonna do is actually take a cable car up to the Bana Hills and the round trip price for the cable car is around 750,000 dong per person. That's about $32. So that is quite expensive by Vietnam standards, but it's a heck of an experience going up to the Bana Hills where you'll find a theme park as well as the Golden Hands Bridge, which we're gonna show you here in a moment. The day we went up there, it was a bit rainy and there was some fog up in the Bana Hills. So please bear with us as we show you around here. This cable car is ranked as one of the most impressive cable car systems in the world and does hold a couple world records. Originally established in 1919 by the French, it was a resort town that eventually fell into disrepair in the 1940s and 50s, later into the 70s, and finally got redeveloped and now has a resort in a high elevation up here. So it does get a bit chilly. You might consider bringing a jacket depending on the time of year, but you'll see Sun World up here, and that's a theme park that has now taken over the resort that was for the French. In case you're wondering, there's no other way up here but the cable car. So you're gonna have to take the cable car to get up here. There's no way to drive, unfortunately. And as we continue to show you around Da Nang and Ba Na Hills here, I wanna let you know that we do have a few videos that we made from Vietnam, including Ho Chi Minh City and Hanoi, as well as a things to know when visiting Vietnam travel guide that can be very useful for you. If you check the links in the description below and the comments, you can find those videos there. And now here we are at the Golden Bridge. This is a 150 meter long, 12 by eight meter wide Golden Bridge held up by these hands. On a clear day, you'll get great views looking down into Da Nang from up here. Although, as you can see, we were fogged in. So maybe do check the weather report before going up there, but it didn't stop many of these people from getting up here because it's quite the experience up here on Bana Hills and the Golden Bridge. If you do plan to come up here, I would say plan the whole day. Whether you're staying in Hoi An or Da Nang, the trip is still going to be two hours to get to the cable car. And then the cable car takes 45 minutes to actually get here. And that's gonna be round trip. You're looking at around five hours of transit time at least. So how much time do you plan to spend when you're in Ba Na Hills? Probably three or four hours, right? So factor in a whole day for an activity like this. The good news is the price to go out onto the Golden Bridge includes, is included in the cable car ticket. So keep that ticket and show them and you can walk out onto the Golden Bridge with that ticket. Now you have beaches down here in Da Nang to explore. This here is a look at Da Nang Beach, but some of the top beaches to look at and hang out are going to be Mai Ki and Na Nuuk which are relatively close to the city center. And the good news is, yes, you can swim here at the beaches in Da Nang. Also, there is a group of islands just off Da Nang called the Cham Islands. They have very nice beaches as well. We're not highlighting that on this video here, but do check out the Cham Islands. And here we are at Ka Cha Parang, which is actually carp turning into a dragon fountain. That's what that translation means. 
This is a nice area to walk along the waterfront here, especially during the sunset time. And it's right next to the Dragon Bridge. And in the area where you have the Dragon Bridge and the Carpfish Dragon, you also have the Cho Dem Son Food Market or Food Street. This is a great place to try some of the local cuisine in a very fast and efficient way and hang out with a lot of locals. It's popular with some tourists, but many locals come here. Speaking of the riverfront, you have the river boat cruises. I would definitely try and do that for an evening activity if you were here for more than five nights. Now we're here at the Chom Sculpture Museum. And here you have over 2,000 sculptures and antiquities from the Champa people, which was one of the ancient civilizations in the area for thousands of years. And they're mostly Muslim and Hindu people. Next up, we're here at the 3D Art Museum. This is actually a fun place to go, especially if you have kids, but also a good place for couples and adults. I really enjoyed walking around here. It's pretty big. It's like a big warehouse with lots of different art to take pictures and just relax. The ticket admission price is around 200,000 Vietnamese dong, that's about 9 US dollars. I would anticipate spending around an hour to two hours walking around here and taking it all in. Now, in case you guys are wondering the best places to go in Vietnam, I would say Da Nang might just be number one. It's right up there with Thu Quoc and Saigon, Ho Chi Minh City. I personally have been to Saigon. I've been to Na Chang, I've been to Da Nang, and I've been to Hanoi, as well as the Mekong River Delta. And I would say I had the most fun and relaxing vibes here in Da Nang. I found it to be the most convenient as well. And on that note, that's going to conclude this episode of Island Hopper TV from Da Nang, Vietnam. If you guys enjoyed this one, consider watching our Ho Chi Minh City things to do, as well as Hanoi things to do. See you on the next one.